Hi, second graders. I hope you're working hard, but you're also having some fun with your family. We're gonna do some activities together today, and then you'll be able to practice these skills throughout the week on your own. Words that mean the same are called synonyms. I remember it, synonym equals same. Both start with an S. Look at the word on your screen, awful. Can you think of a synonym for the word awful? Sometimes it helps to put it into a sentence, like, I had an awful day. What other words could I put in that sentence that would mean the same thing? I could use the word bad, terrible, and also horrible. All three of those words mean the same thing as awful. They're all synonyms. Try this next word. Smart. See if you can think of some words that mean the same thing as smart. Try making up a sentence using that word smart to help you. Did you come up with clever, wise, or intelligent? Good, I bet you came up with some of your own too. I have four more words for you. Each day this week, I want you to take one of those words and see how many synonyms you can come up with. Make a list and have your mom or your dad or your grandparent take a picture of it. Then they can share it with me in the comments section under this video or through Class Dojo. The words I want you to work on this week are little, pretty, big, and happy. See how many synonyms you can come up with for each word. You can always refer back to the video to find these words each day. Now we're gonna read a story called Marcus Loses Patches. What do you think this story will be about? Patches sounds like it is the name of a pet. I'm predicting that Marcus loses his pet. I wonder how he'll feel. I would be so upset if that happened to me. This story is about a boy named Marcus who loves to play video games. He loves them so much that one day while he's playing, he forgets to feed his dog Patches. Patches gets out of the fence. So Marcus and his mom try really hard to find Patches. You're gonna read the story to find out if they find him. As you're reading, if you get stumped on a word, use all the strategies we've learned in class. If I'm turning the pages too fast, you can always pause the video to catch up with us. While you're reading, pay attention to all the things Marcus does to find patches.
now that you've read the story, I want you to do some writing. I want you to create a chart similar to mine on a piece of paper. You're going to answer these three questions about the story. The first question is who has a problem? You're going to determine which character in the story has a problem. The second question is what is the problem? What is wrong in the story? And third, how is the problem solved? What steps does the character take to solve the problem? Don't forget your capitals and punctuation. You can do this when you're reading to help you understand the problem and solution of a story. The problem is what is wrong and the solution is how it's fixed. Try this out this week when you're reading. Have someone take a picture and share it with me. I'd love to see your amazing work. I know you've all been working really hard at home. This is just another way to help you become a better reader. So remember this week, I want you to use one word a day from our list, little, pretty, big, and happy and brainstorm all the synonyms that you can for each of them. Also, when you read a story this week, I want you to think and write about the problem and how it is solved. I hope you have a wonderful, amazing, fabulous week. See all those synonyms I used? I'll see you guys next week.